Hello, welcome to PC Jack. So, it's been a while since I've published one of these kind of talking heads videos, but there's something we really need to talk about. In case you weren't aware, Nvidia have now launched the long rumoured RTX 3080 12GB model, superseding the previous 10GB model. Now, while I already have multiple gripes with this release, one of which being that Nvidia are now further constraining their supply of GA102 dies that could be put to better use in the much more affordable 10GB model of the RTX 3080, which some people have been waiting for for nearly two years by now. No, the thing that we need to talk about is Nvidia's anti-consumer strategy of not even providing reviewers with pre-release drivers in order to provide consumers with day one reviews. Now, you may be wondering, what's wrong with this? Nvidia doesn't owe these reviewers cards, but why would they want to postpone day one reviews and stop independent media from sharing their own thoughts on this release? Well, let's talk about exactly why. For perspective, let's rewind back seven months ago. Back in June of 2021, Nvidia launched the RTX 3070 Ti and the RTX 3080 Ti, the latter of which received scathing reviews due to its price hike over its non-Ti counterpart with a 70% increase while only offering up to 20% extra performance. Obviously, not the response that Nvidia were looking for. So, fast forward to present day, it seems that Nvidia have decided to forego the day one critical consensus and force consumers to blindly purchase without any research. And if there's no negative reviews on launch day, Surely that's good news, right? Well, not quite. On launch day, Steve from Hardware and Box spilled the beans and told audiences exactly why they were not seeing day one reviews. Nvidia's AIB partners had provided reviewers with samples ahead of launch, but with only two days to spare, Nvidia then announced that they would not be providing pre-release drivers in order to even benchmark the cards, meaning the reviewers would have to wait until day one in order to even benchmark these cards. To make matters worse though, Nvidia wouldn't even confirm an MSRP for this release. Now, reviews did begin trickling in, most notably with eTechnics first in line while sharing his results live. But by this point, it's pretty much too late and it's already out of stock, much like every other release over the last couple of months. So, what's Nvidia got against reviewers? Well, it's been pretty well documented that Nvidia are not fans of bad press, so maybe this tactic was in order to avoid the gaze of reviewers and stay out of the spotlight for those day one launch reviews. However, I would argue they still achieve this anyway. But the most obvious reason for me seems to be that Nvidia are forcing consumers to trust them and blindly purchase due to the impulsive habits we've all built up with this GPU scarcity and not rely on reviewers for third party information. A GPU scarcity that's been forced upon PC enthusiasts due to a lack of supply for so long now. And this is where Nvidia have truly crossed the line. Well, they've already crossed the line multiple times, but this one really takes the biscuit. It's getting even more evident day by day that Nvidia holds such huge contempt for PC gamers and still continue to take advantage of the current situation we are all in. And they aren't even trying to hide it anymore. So I have to be really clear in case this is not coming across quite right in this video. Nvidia does not care about you. What does Nvidia care about? Money. Nvidia has repeatedly catered more to miners during this crypto boom. And it's already well documented with Nvidia and AIB partners selling directly in bulk to miners. And until there's a crash, they will obviously continue to do so. And when miners don't actually want these GPUs anymore and Nvidia turns back to gamers, I hope everyone remembers exactly what Nvidia pulled on enthusiasts during this whole debacle. Maybe if Nvidia were a little more honest and shown a little bit more empathy towards their customers, then it wouldn't be so bad. But time and time again, Nvidia continued to hold their investors in much higher regard, which was even more evident with their completely atrocious CS presentation, where they launched yet another card that takes advantage of the GA102 die further constraining it from being released further down the product line. But that's another video for a different day. I'm just at a loss with these kinds of releases, and initially I did decide I was going to try and phase out these GPU launch discussions, but I really felt I just had to get this information out there in case some people had missed the memo, and just make sure people knew how scummy Nvidia were being with this release. And maybe if enough people know, they'll vote with their wallet where it matters. Don't forget, AMD and even Intel are going to have GPUs at the end of this shortage, and it's time that Nvidia started to realize that. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. If you did enjoy the video, then please feel free to leave a dislike. If you're after more PC Jack content though, then you can check me out on Twitch where I live stream every Monday and Thursday. If you miss a stream though, then you can check out the PC Jack VODs YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at PCJack94. If you'd like to talk more with myself and other like-minded hardware enthusiasts, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Discord. If you'd like to support the channel even further though, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Patreon where you can claim exclusive benefits while helping to fund everything I do on the channel for you guys. You can find links to all those in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.